Hey what's going on guys you watching tech theory and in this video let's have a look at the iOS 12 beta 8. So let's begin. If you haven't subscribed yet do subscribe and click that bell icon for latest video updates. Let's get started now. So guys let's go to ch settings and check the build number right now. So let's go to general go to about and check the build uh, version. It is 16A5357B and this is the build number or you can say version number. So let's move forward now and go deep into the topic. So as you can see the I am running the beta 8 right now. Uh, Apple has re uh, released it uh, because the beta 7 was failed which was released 2 days back and that's the reason, uh, reason I didn't make a video on it because I was sure that Apple will be taking back the version and it will be rolling out beta 8 quite soon. So let's have a look at it now. So firstly talking about the main thing is the performance so let's go to n 2 benchmarks and check the benchmarks I have tested it after updating. So as you can see guys you can just the performance by the oh, app opening time the performance is really average on the iPhone 6 but it is doing quite good on the iPhone 10, iPhone 8, iPhone 7, 7 plus and the plus models and so the score is 76465 which is pretty good you can't say it is good it is decent. So yeah the performance has been really consistent uh, compa comparing to beta 6, beta 4, beta 5, beta 7 the f uh, earlier betas and same is the case with beta 8 there are no performance issues to a major, major extent but the performance has been really good on the newer devices but the older devices are having the problem of slowness and the uh, bugs has been really uh, major on beta 7 but it has been fixed on beta 8 so let's talk about the battery life I get a lot of comments regarding the battery life on all the videos so let's talk about the battery life and see what's the results so guys let me tell you my personal experience I use the iPhone 6 as my secondary device and I have tested the battery life on beta 4, beta 5, beta 6, beta 7 as well and now on beta 8 the battery life has been really same it has been really really same uh, there are no major changes or major downgrades as uh, comparing the battery life the battery life has been really same and it also depends on your battery health my battery health is 75 and because uh, my battery health is 75 I am getting some very poor battery life but the battery life on other iPhone 6 models are also decent you can't call it good it is quite decent my brother also has iPhone 6 and he also uh, told me regarding the battery life it has been really poor so uh, if you are on beta 5 beta 6 beta 4 on or any other earlier betas then do update to beta 8 it fixes some bugs and also gives some stability improvements and if you are on 11.3 11.4 then don't don't update to 12 right now wait for some time if you are on 11.4 then you should definitely update if you are on 11.3 then do or don't update 11.3 is quite good and if you are on 10.3.3 then please don't update I request you don't update May I get many comments regarding this but I will definitely tell you that don't update it is not worth updating to iOS 12 right now because iOS 10 was the best uh, in the recent times so yeah that's pretty much guys a major giveaway is coming in the future in the few coming week and I will make a video on the giveaway and so stay tuned and do subscribe to our channel and if you want to get part participate in the giveaway I'll definitely make a video on it and let's see who wins so yeah that's pretty much guys do subscribe and give this video a huge like for encouraging me and do subscribe and click that bell icon for getting the uh, notification on the future videos that's pretty much guys thanks for watching peace